Stand up man. The smartest player that ever played the game. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And hey, this is Sean Kepp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends talking about the great and sensational Bill Russell, 11 rings. But before we get to that video, I want to tell you guys something. I haven't covered Bill Russell that often on my show. I think this is like the second or the third video. And the reason is I've never really saw him play. And it just felt a little bit weird really talking about somebody where I just can't give a true judgment. It just feels like, yeah, you're watching YouTube clips and that is basically it. And I wanted to drop this episode a while ago, but two days before the video was scheduled, Bill Russell passed away and I just thought, okay, the timing's not right. Showed a guy a little bit of respect and so I waited. So I read it, the whole video again. So this episode, we will take a look at Bill Russell and I will give you my personal opinion, how I feel about the player and the man. So let's go. Now the first clips that we're going to take a look at are some of the greatest players of his generation, like Dave Bing, for example, so guys who actually saw Bill Russell play firsthand. Let's take a look. Bill Russell is the greatest winner in American sports, claiming an unmatched 11 NBA championships in 13 seasons. He revolutionized the game with his mastery of defense as the anchor of the Boston Celtics dynasty. You know, you could ask former players who were the greatest player in the, in the history of the game. And in my personal opinion, it's Bill Russell. I think he's the, uh, the greatest. Even today, you look at all the wonderful players that are there. If I started my team today with guys in their prime, I'd still start with Bill Russell. We were in the playoffs against the Celtics, and we went up 2-1. Uh, and, and, you know, we thought we had a chance to upset you know, the champions. In one game, I got 44 points, and Russ came to me after the game and told me, um, don't you ever come into my area again. I'm going to block every shot that you put up. I mean, he, and I listened to him. So I took jump shots instead of trying to drive to the basket. He was unapologetically himself. A stand-up man. The smartest player that ever played the game. The Big Bang. We're never going to see a winner like that again. It's no conversation. You know what's on his hands? More rings than fingers. I don't even think he knew what type of player he was going to be. He could win the game without scoring the ball. Open avenues for the younger generation. I remember thinking to myself, well, we not only got ourselves a rebounder, but It looks to me like he was such a great athlete for his size and such quickness. I said, I think we're getting a little bit more than than we bargained for in Bill Russell. Kuzi, waiting for his man, bounce pass to Russell. Basket is good in his spot. He can rebound, he can run, he can play defense. He made everybody around him better. It was the ultimate piece of the puzzle. Just months after Russell joined the team, the Celtics were champions. There's one thing that I'll never forget about Bill Russell. What a competitor he was. It's game five, 1967, 66, 67. We beat them for the championship. We're up approximately 20 points with a matter of seconds, five or six seconds left in the game. And Luke Jackson was going down for a layup. And I still can see Bill Russell chasing him down to try and block the shot. And I went, you know, this is why this man is so unbelievable as a player. The scoreboard had to be wrong because I don't lose. There's one picture of him that 
I've always said he had this kind of regal look about himself when he put his hands on his hip. He's standing at midcourt by shooting a free throw. And I still have a picture of this, him standing and kind of leaning on one leg. And I said, oh, my gosh, the king is looking over his feet. Them, OK, let's start with your relationship with Bill Russell. You cold called him. I did. Why? Well, I, I wanted to learn. I think the most important thing that we can do when you want to learn is to actually pick up the phone and ask. And so I picked up the phone and I reached out to Bill Russell and uh, that began a great relationship of mentorship. And uh, he had a lot of great stories to share with me, not just you know, things on the court, but off the court. You know, especially in that time when he was playing, those two things could not be separated because one went with the other. A plan for Bill Russell um, and being drafted by him was a biggest honor. Uh, honestly, he's the advocate basketball player. So he always would have an opportunity to teach you about life more than basketball. And I had, as a rookie, he said, uh, his, my job was to sit next to him on every plane, every bus ride, and every pregame meal. So I have a million Bill Russell stories uh, because of that. The one story that kind of stands out for me is um, we were talking about foreign players coming into the league. I was watching him, you know, looking at a script, figuring out what was going on. I'm like, what's that? He's like, oh, some foreign players I'm looking at. I said, coach, did you telling me there's not a great basketball player in Alabama that you got to go all the way to Europe to get this guy? And um, he stopped me and he said, Kenny, as an African-American, you can never uh, not one inclusion. And I was like, whoa. He took a, a small basketball moment as a, a jest and, and taught me a life moment about inclusion and about life. No one would ever guess. You know, I've asked people that question they ask, and none of them ever guess who I would take. And mm -hmm. if you, you know, you take a guess who you think I would take. <laughs> uh, of all time in the history of the Of all the, the players in the history of the game. Uh, Wilt? No. Uh, Russell? You're right. Bill Russell. Bill Russell man, won 11, I think, or 13 years ch championship every year. And the year he didn't win a championship, he was hurt. I mean, the guy was just incredible. And think about it, see, people look at the score, look at statistics. See? Yeah. And Russell's statistics wasn't that bad because nobody did, took, you know, didn't take shots. He was shooting a high percentage because most of his shots were donks in time, you know, in, inside the key. St. Louis got the ball at the foul line, made one pass up towards the sideline. Other foul line extended. Jack Coleman, who received the pass, took one dribble, was going out for a layup to win the game, the championship, and everything else. Russ ran the 90 feet. He must have done it in four or five giant strides. And Russell blocked the shot. He went by me. I was trying to get to this guy Coleman. He went by me like uh, the road runner. I mean, boom. He just swooped literally like Superman. Yeah, but I, I'm with Shaq. You, you go with winners because Bill Russell won so much, but when you start saying, which would you start a team with, it's hard to go against the Big Dipper. <laughs> well, who's your center? Is it Wilt or is it Bill? I gotta go Big Bill. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me Bill here. Go Bill. One, two, three, <sighs> four. You know, guys, and this is really important to me to really make this clear. Now, not too long ago, I made a video about my top 10 players and I did not have Bill Russell in, in my top five. And there's a simple reason why I think individually, especially when you compare him to the skill set of a Hakeem Olajuwon or a Shaq or Kareem, I think that those players were better than Bill Russell. But still, and this is why I still think that he's one of the greatest. I think his basketball IQ is in a league of his own. He's like the ultimate team player, a player that really would do whatever it takes to win a game. and even though he was not the most skilled player in terms of dribbling, shooting, and all those kind of things, to everyone who has played basketball themselves, you know that there are some players who, when they play basketball, it just doesn't look great, but still they find a way, because they're so smart, they find a way how to be efficient and, and yeah, how to be the best player on the court. And even though I've never seen him play in person, and I've only seen him from highlights in like two or three games that I actually saw, I potentially think that he was one of those guys who, even though it did not look good, that his basketball IQ would compensate for the lack of skills. And no, he's not in my top five, but I still think he was a damn great player. And 
him as a person, I mean, I've seen a documentary not too long ago, a couple of times, and from all the articles that I read, interviews, this man seemed to be a special human being. And if there's one thing that is more important than being a good basketball player, is to be a great human being. So Bill Russell, even though we never met, and I never told you guys, I actually almost had an interview with him also a while ago, but then uh, his health deteriorated, so it never happens. And it's unfortunate, but hey, what really does count is that Bill Russell paved the way for so many basketball players and fans and the whole game. So, Bill, up there, thanks to you, man. And, yeah, to everyone, probably not the most spectacular video that I, that I dropped, but to me it was just important to give the man respect for all the work that he's done. See you next time.